Okay, it's been a while since I did a Blender tutorial, and this one's going to be on uh, painting weight maps, uh, specifically uh, with armatures, so that you can get uh, your objects to deform correctly. I have a warrior object here, character, and uh, inside of him are some, or underneath him are some bones. I'll turn on x-ray so you can see them. Now right now he's not uh, set to deform for to this armature, so I'm going to... Um, do that right now. I'll, I'll select him, right click, uh, shift right click on the armature, control P to parent it to the armature. When you do that it will give you this options and uh, I'm going to choose uh, create from bone heat. I'll show you in a second what that looks like. Okay, it looks like nothing happened but if we select the armature and go to pose mode and start posing it you'll see it is moving with the armature but it's not moving exactly the way we wanted it does a best guess based on the size of the bone so now we, we're going to need to uh, make the deformations look much better so uh, let's select the object <clears throat> hit uh, N to bring up the uh, property panel and then uh, under the mode here I'm going to go to weight paint and now you'll see what they meant by bone heat uh, so all the areas that are red, that are hot, are going to be uh, affected by this bone. And then the cooler areas will be less affected. So for example, this shoulder spike, I want that to go with this bone here. And as you can see, it's kind of color green, so that means it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead in here, I'm going to go to add mode. And then uh, I'm going to uh, make my the weight of the paint uh, 100%, 1%. And then the size here, this is the size of the brush. So I'm just going to start dragging. You'll see my little brush here. And of course, as I do that, the weights will change. And I can do that to all these different areas. And then you have different modes. Uh, for example, you can mix the colors together. Uh, just by going between these different modes here, there's subtract. I can subtract some stuff. So for example, this, um, this area here, this uh, kind of shoulder uh, elbow guard. I want that to follow the forearm instead of the bicep. So I'm going to go into subtract mode, turn my weight up, and start painting that out. And you'll see that as you paint it, it gets darker and darker. All right. And so just uh, by a, a matter of going through these different uh, different uh, paint styles and uh, painting these these things out to get the right deformations you want you can just go through there and it's a bit painstaking you you kinda have to do a lot of trial and error and stuff but uh, one good thing is that you can select a bone and then you can manipulate it uh, for example I'll hit R and move this bone around so you'll see uh, the kinda errors that you're getting there alright so for example you'll see now that I've disassociated this um, this elbow guard area it's, it's kinda not moving anymore because it's not moving with any of the bones because it's been taken away from those. Um, <clears throat> so I can go ahead and select this bone and start painting in the areas that I do want. And you'll see it'll start kind of collapsing in as it does that, as it gets kind of uh, associated with that. Uh, another way you can do this is you can manually uh, tell it manually which points that you want to manipulate. So let's hit uh, tab to go into the edit mode. Oh, everything's selected now. I don't want that. I'll hit A to go out of that. So I'm going to select a couple points on the uh, objects that make up that kind of elbow guard and hit Control L to select all the vertices that are linked to that, those vertices. And now down here in the Links and Materials panel, right here, <clears throat> you'll see what um, weight groups you're, you're in, uh, what vertex groups you're in. So right now, um, I'm in the forearm uh, vertex group and that's the one I want to associate all these vertices with so instead of going in and uh, painstakingly painting all those areas because it's convex it's kinda hard to, to see um, I'm gonna go ahead and manually assign this I'll just select those go to the vertex group that I want that forearm and hit assign okay but some of those vertex vertices were still uh, assigned to that um, bicep before you can have vertices assigned to multiple uh, different bones so uh, I'm gonna also uh, go into that select that bicep where's that at? that bicep group there and I'm gonna remove it from that so now when we go back 
as you can see in the bicep here, with the bicep selected, that elbow guard area has completely uh, been taken away from the influence of that bone. And when I select on the forearm, you'll see that it's gotten completely assigned to that. So now when I move this, and when I move this, you'll see that it, in fact, goes with it the way I, I wished. So just by a matter of going